Hello everyone, I am Piyush. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be sharing a source of income that you can start right away. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. The banks in the USA as well as the banks around the world offer very low interest rates and it's not really recommended to keep all of your money in bank. It will lose its value to inflation because the inflation is currently too high in many of the countries and you have to make sure that you invest your money in various asset classes such as stocks, mutual funds, real estate, keep some in banks, fixed deposits etc. Diversifying your money is the key. Personally, I am more inclined towards stock market because I am really optimistic about it. There are many ETFs that you can buy wherein you are betting on the whole economy of the country. So I know that the US economy or the Indian economy will boom in the future. It doesn't matter if some of the companies go bankrupt, but I know that the economy as a whole will go up. So I am betting on the whole economy, which is a great thing that stock market offers. But again, I want to keep my money diversified so that I am not concentrated in any particular asset class. Suppose the stock market goes down, I don't want my portfolio to be down completely. Instead of that, if I keep my money in various asset classes, it will diversify my risk and my overall returns will grow whether the stock market is down, whether the property market is falling or any other thing. So the source of income that I am going to talk about in this video is P2P lending. I don't know if you have heard about this term, but in very simple terms, it is simply the borrowing and lending of money, except that there is no bank involved. It's as simple as an individual like me coming to you to get some money because I'm not getting a loan from banks due to any reason such as poor credit score or there is a lot of process or it will take time or any other reasons for that matter. This is a win-win situation for both the investor as well as borrower. The investor has the advantage of getting a fixed return which is higher than the rate offered in banks or some FDs. And the borrower is able to raise money whether it's for his business, whether it's for marriage or any other reason. Many people used to borrow in this way when there were no banks around. But with the invention of banks, it was safer for people to go to banks to get a loan so that there is no security or fraud issues. Now talking about the history of the P2P lending industry, a person named David Nicholson who is the co-founder of a company named Zopa which was started in UK in the year 2005. He came up with this P2P lending platform wherein people can lend or borrow money. The P2P lending industry was not that popular until the 2008 and 9 financial crisis where people started losing faith to the banks and it was really difficult for the small businesses as well as other people to get loans from the banks and on the other hand the investors weren't able to keep their money in the banks because they thought this bank might fail and we might lose all of our money so even they wanted a platform where they can get some fixed returns. So this is where the P2P industry started to boom. This was a great source of income for investors who could get fixed returns on their money and at the same time borrowers could borrow money where banks were rejecting them. This industry eventually started to boom in other advanced countries like USA, Europe and the UK and also in some developing nations such as China, India and the Middle East. The P2P lending industry market is around $70 billion as of 2021 and is expected to grow around $700 billion by the year 2030. Initially, it was very difficult for the P2P lending platform companies to attract customers because there were many security issues and sometimes there were even fraud borrowers or fraud lenders which led to mistrust among the investors. So this is where regulatory bodies in many countries such as UK, Australia, China, India, USA came and started to have some strict regulations so that investors don't lose their money and it is comparatively safer. The advantages of investing through P2P lending platforms are first they offer higher returns compared to banks and other safer options such as bonds. The second is that the risk level can be chosen by the investor. On the P2P platform you can find many borrowers who are there and they can be categorized according to their risk levels. So suppose someone has a good credit history you can choose to give him a loan so that the risk of default is low compared to someone with a low credit score. Third, it is good for borrowers who are looking to borrow money. They can easily borrow it with investors like you and me and get it at a low interest rate and low fees compared to some banks. The main drawback of this type of investing is that there is always a risk of default. Banks have a strict policy while lending money to any people so that the risk of default is low. But the P2P platforms, as I mentioned, 
offer services to people with a slightly poor credit score so there is always a risk of default whether the person will repay you back the money so you will need to consider that factor when you are investing in this platform i have been investing in p2p lending platforms since three years and i have been getting some good returns i will make a separate video on which platform i use for p2p lending how much returns can you expect what's the default rate that you might expect and many other things this video was only to get you acquainted with an additional source of income there are hundreds and thousands of ways in which you can earn money this is one of the source where you can earn fixed rate on your money comment down your thoughts below what you think about the p2p lending industry whether it's a risky or a safe option for investors like and subscribe my channel if you find my content useful thank you again for watching this video until next time